My name's Holly Faulkner um, and I live on the Central Coast. I have a beautiful big family. I have uh, an elder sister uh, and a younger brother and a younger sister. So there's four of us all together. Well, I would hope I've inherited most of my physical <laughs> tributes from my mother. Um, not so much my dad's side. My mum's quite fair, and but my dad has beautiful blue eyes, so um, I do have his blue eyes, I guess. I also inherited Huntington's from my father. Huntington's disease is a degenerative neurological condition which affects the brain. It can only be inherited if a parent is affected uh, and each child has a 50-50 chance of inheriting the disease. I was the unlucky one that inherited Huntington's disease out of my uh, brothers and sisters. Uh, thankfully they are all gene negative which is a um, very positive outcome. There's different uh, gene counts essentially, so I have a gene count that says I will develop symptoms of Huntington's disease should I live long enough. Um, typically it does follow your parent and the age that they became symptomatic. For my father that was in his 40s. It just depends on how many counts of the gene expression that you have and, it, and what your symptoms could be. But each case, that's the thing with Huntington's disease, it's very different, it affects everybody in a different way, whether that be with movements or speech, memory loss, it's a wide array of, of symptoms. I found out I had had Huntington's when I was 21, so 10 years ago now. To find out I went through the genetic testing, um, which was through Hunter Genetics. So I had to do a blood test and go through some genetic counselling to ensure that I was, um, I guess, at a point in my life where I was ready to receive my result. I wanted it to be a positive thing for me. Um, my dad didn't know that he had Huntington's until after he had children, so he really wasn't able to plan. It was all, you know, after the fact. So for me, I wanted to be able to make plans for my life and knowing that I have Huntington's disease just means that I can do the things that I may have put off. So I do a lot of travel, um, yeah, just say yes to a lot more things than what I probably would have <laughs> otherwise. <laughs> I would say please support Huntington's New South Wales. The work that they do for the Huntington's community is extremely valuable because it is a little known disease. Um, we do struggle in terms of fundraising or, or people knowing what it is and, and receiving those donations. There's a whole range of, of things that the person will need depending on what their symptoms are. It's just a matter of making that person more comfortable and giving them a better quality of life. So yeah, funding is, is a crucial thing. I definitely believe that there will be either a treatment or a cure in my lifetime. But again, it comes down to creating the awareness, getting people behind the cause, getting them involved with Huntington's New South Wales. And um, one of those ways in which we like to create hope is doing the walk for hope. Um, and that type of event is something that can be shared by not only the carers or family and friends of Huntington sufferers, the actual Huntington's person can get involved with that too, which gives them a really nice sense of inclusion because a lot of things through their physical disabilities they're unable to do. Um, so a, an easy four kilometre walk around a park is, you know, getting them out of their, you know, four walls that they're usually confined to, um, getting them talking to other Huntington's people and, and the wider Huntington's community.